Hey there YouTubers, this is going to be a short Python related, but also my usual, all my usual topics. I've got over 300 YouTubes, and if you go back you'll see that there are key topics I usually hit. Codesters is one of them. This is a very nifty way to learn Python. It's a version of Python that you could say only lives in Codesters but it's close enough and it adds all kinds of features that your regular Python won't have. And I'm in the middle of teaching kind of a school of tomorrow class. We're using the tools of tomorrow in the classroom of tomorrow. They all have, you know, not a scientific calculator. They all have their own desktop computer as is necessary. And they're in a college class and it's already well equipped not unlike my Reed College class, right? So this is another one of those summer schools. I've been doing it through Saturday Academy a couple times. Now I'm with a different company, but we cover, and it's it's all different stuff, different content, but there's still the kind of some little, you know, overlap in terms of Martian math, which is what I specialize in. What do I mean by Martian math? If you've watched these YouTubes, that's not a mystery. But let me run this Codesters um, code. First, I'll explain it just a little bit. We're basically flying on the Green Tortoise Airlines. We used to have Green Tortoise bus on the West Coast here, so I'm kind of alluding to that. But really, it's just turtle graphics, the standard Seymour Papert, Mindstorms kind of, you know, robot control except it's a jet airplane. Turtle Airlines flies to India or Asia, points in Asia from Detroit, Chicago area. And what I wanted to see was what that looks like using a fuller projection. So when I hit the green arrow, it imports the fuller projection from across the land, some server somewhere, right? We all have access to these things. And you can probably see a turtle right in the middle of North America. It's color-coded with temperature data. It's a little bit hard to see. The color is Navajo white. You can see how I'm setting the color over here on the right. Now, where do I get Navajo white? Why would Codesters understand that? Well, color names are standardized. And as I was telling the class today, there's no way you're going to memorize all these names. There's no reason to. But you can look at the colors, and you can decide which colors go with which. You can you can pick your color, then get the name. You don't need to use the hexadecimal form. Just take the name, cut and paste, and over to Codesters, and voila. You've got your Navajo White Airlines. So I'm going to run this by, okay, so what, do I, what else do we have? We have event listeners just like in Java, so the stage has ears, it can hear. And when I click on the stage, it's going to fire the stage dot event click callback. In other words, oops, just lost it. This happens a lot, by the way. My mouse will, for some reason, it's too sensitive, my touchpad, and I get thrown away from my picture, from my project. So let me run this before I lose it again. I'm not going to retape. We'll just accept glitches as they come part of my aesthetic and click on the stage. So there's the turtle flying fairly slowly. It's actually looping through this fly function. Um, it's, it's, run the, it's running the fly function one time, but inside the fly function it loops over and over, only going one increment as it flies. This would take hours in reality. I was telling them today the total amount of time they're going to have in class is about the total time it would take to do this flight. And I was trying to explain how when you go from Detroit to Shanghai or something, you basically fly due north. Whereas if you're looking at some other classroom projections, you might conclude you need to fly due uh, west to get to China. That's kind of ridiculous, right? So we're showing a polar route, and we're doing it on a School of Tomorrow map and we're learning how to code in Python. And these kids are in another time zone for me, and they're closer to where that flight began, actually, and we talked about who'd flown where recently and stuff. Anyway, fun, fun. I guess that's enough for now. We'll talk to you again.